Let's continue with learning basic and simple Cypress commands. In this video, I'm going to show you how to put static or implicit wait into the code and also how to use command pause, which is very good for debugging. In most cases, you don't need to use implicit wait in Cypress because it has an automatic waiting mechanism. But still, there might be some cases where you need to do it. So let's learn how to make it happen. It's very simple. So let's go back and let's go under the should check correct URL. And here I'm going to implement one more test step. And I'm going to give it a description of should wait for three seconds. And in this test, I want to simply demonstrate to you how to put an implicit weight into the Cypress. So again, we start with the sign dot. And if we scroll down, you can see that we have a weight function. And simply into the weight function, we all we have to do is to pass the number of milliseconds, how long it should wait. So we want to wait for three seconds. So let's pass it 3000 milliseconds or three seconds. So let's try it. And run the spec again. And now look, this test is waiting for three seconds and then it moved on. So basically we have visited the URL, we have checked that the URL is correct, then we have waited for 3 seconds and then the test simply moved on. So I think that's it. Uh, there is nothing special about the wait. It's pretty straightforward and easy. Whenever you need to put the implicit wait for whatever reason, just call sci.visit and pass it the number of milliseconds how long you want to wait. But let me just show you one better example and that is a pause. So again, oops, we need to do it and should pause the execution. And in this test step, I'm going to demonstrate to you how to use sci.pause command. So we have sci.pause just like this. There are some optional arguments, but uh, for standard pausing, this is all you need. So let's now open the Cypress UI again. Run the spec. And now look, the test is now paused. You can see it by uh, this post icon here. And the test will now stop and it will not move on until you hit this resume button. So look, test is pausing. Now I click resume and the test is finished. So this function is very good if you want to just stop the execution and verify some steps or you want to look at the application under the test. And whenever you are finished, you can simply click on the resume button and the test will finish. So let me close it and stop the test. And I think that's it. We have learned two new commands. One is wait for implicit waiting and one is pause, which is very good for debugging. So I think that's it and see you in the next video.